outside of L.A. yesterday morning. He underwent surgery for, quote, significant injuries to his right leg and ankle. The good news, Tiger was awake and he was responsive after the surgery. His career, however, that does remain to be seen. But this morning, that is obviously secondary to his health. Nick, I want to start with you. What was your reaction when you heard the news yesterday about Tiger Woods? Well, when I first heard it, I was really, really scared. And now this morning, I'm partially relieved and I'm partially crestfallen. I, I, Jenna knows this about me. Some of the audience does. I don't know if Brandon does. Hey, Tiger Woods is one of my two favorite athletes ever. And I have like very significant benchmark timelines in my life that I associate with Tiger. 1996, I remember the room I was in in my house. I was, you know, I'm a sixth grader, I guess, maybe fifth grader. My grandfather calls me from Florida. I'm in my dad's office and he says, you have to turn on the television. There's this kid who's going to be the greatest golfer ever. And it was when Tiger was trying to win his third straight amateur. And I were, that, that thing went to two extra holes. He won it. And from that moment, it was like a drug and I was hooked. And from 06 to 2008, I think the only constant in my life was Tiger Woods. My parents got divorced. I had falling out and then reun you know, reunited with family members. I moved a number of times. And Tiger was it. And then, I, I, in 2009, I signed up for Twitter. I looked it up this morning. My first tweet ever was about Tiger's car crash, unfortunately, in 09. And then he was gone from my life, like he was gone from everybody's life for a number of reasons for a long time. And then amazingly, a decade later, I have a family of my own, and my youngest daughter and I bonded over watching him at the Masters. Made her want to, to this day, pester me about golf lessons, ask me about when we're gonna be able to watch <laughs> Tiger. And the, I'm, I'm so sad, Brandon, because I, I don't wanna say it's a definite, but we probably never see him golf at, you know, may, hopefully with his son, you know, for fun at times, but this final chapter seems to have been cut short again. So I'm glad he's okay. But this felt, you know, it reminded me of Kobe and luckily it doesn't have the full mm. tragic ending that Kobe did. But I had that same sick to my stomach feeling, Brandon, and I'm, I'm really, really sad this morning. Yeah, uh, Nick, Jenna, that was my first reaction was Kobe. You know, I was actually in the facility in the gym working out and I walked past a television and there was no audio. So all I saw was, you know, red breaking news. And you saw Tiger Woods in a car crash. And then when they showed the picture and the image of Tiger's car flipped and just uh, tangled and mangled like that, I was like, oh, no, not again. Um, it took me back to around this time last year, right? And, and, you know, dealing with Kobe, I was actually in Calabasas training Gabe Davis, Gabe Davis, uh, who the Buffalo Bills took in a draft wide receiver from uh, University of Central Florida and, and, and a trainer walked in and they said Kobe was just in a accident and Kobe's gone and the whole room went silent and I'm in this moment now where I literally flew out to LA to Calabasas to train this kid and I was like what do we do and what is going on right now so that was the first thing I thought about and I'm just so happy that we're not mourning Tiger right now. And, and, and yeah, Nick, you're right. You know, we don't know if he's ever going to play again. You know, we don't know if he's going to be able to play with his son. You know, um, I'm glad he's here, but this is devastating. Um, and, and it feels like we're mourning, you know, but I, I think we should be celebrating because life can be taken away just like that. We saw it with Kobe. We saw it with other greats. We saw it with yeah. people uh, this year in a global pandemic. So I'm just thankful that, that, that Tiger's here. Tiger is great. Tiger's done some amazing things. He's one of the greatest athletes to ever grace this planet, you know, and he had an amazing career, had an amazing run. If it's over, he still, we still can celebrate him.
Oh, well, listen, I don't, and I know obviously t this isn't the morning for l the GOAT debate about golf, but f for, my, for my eyes, for my money, he is far and away the greatest athlete to ever golf and the greatest golfer ever. And it just is, I, HBO came out a few months ago with a good two-part documentary on Tiger. And I'm sure he didn't like parts of it. But the parts of it that were about not the personal life, but the golf life, it was a good, almost Cliff's Notes reminder that from the, mass, you know, the, the record-setting Masters to his 14th major win at the U.S. Open against Rocco Mediate when he had the broken leg and he won it anyway, that decade, we've never seen anything like it in sports. And it was, yeah. the, the <laughs> word I would associate with him, Brandon, was invincible. And right. unfortunately, Jenna, it, nobody's invincible. And the decade since that U.S. Open victory, I am so, I, I want to say one other thing, and I apologize. I know I'm rambling a bit. I, I'm like oddly choked up about this. I, I know he didn't pass. I know he's going to be okay, but it feels like a sports loss. I am so glad, Jenna, mm -hmm. he got that Masters moment. That it yes. wasn't, oh, he was close and he's coming back and he's going that. Because right. if he yeah. doesn't yeah. get to compete in another major or compete at a high level, that walk to 18, if for that Masters yeah. in 2019, which was unlike anything we've ever seen in golf, I, right, I know it's not the 18th or 19th major that he wanted to catch Jack, but it's a singular moment in golf history. And if that's his last real golfing memory, it's an amazing one. But it, this is a tough day as a sports fan. It's a tough day. I, I, I echo that so much. I remember how hard I rooted for him in that Masters. I think we all rooted so hard for him to win that Masters and that yeah. epic comeback <laughs> performance. I mean, it wasn't just the sports world. It was the non-sports world, too. You, you could just feel it. You can feel it everywhere. And now I think this morning we all feel the same way in rooting for him to make a full recovery here. We are going to take a right. break. This is